Hi, and thanks for joining me today. In this video, we're going to talk about how to use the add on Autocrat to merge form results with a document that you've created in Google Drive. Now, what I've done here is in a previous video, I've set up a form for a career day. As you can see here on this career day form, it's set up so that students can enter their name and their homeroom teacher and they can decide on sessions that they want to attend for a career day. And what we would like to do is we would like to take the results from this form and merge them into a document for each student so that each student will have a printed copy of where they are to go for each session on career day. So the first thing that I need to do is first of all I need to send out my form and get results back. And we've already done that with a few basic results. So from a Google form, all you have to do to view your responses is to go to the top and click the view responses menu. Or if you're in Google Drive, you can always view the Google sheet that collects your responses for your form. So from here, I'm going to click view responses. And you can see here that I've got a couple of responses, but I have some names, a homeroom teacher, and a couple of sessions that have been decided upon by some students. Now, what I want to do with this is I want to merge that with this document here. Now, this is my base document for our career day schedule, and it has all the information that the student will need, but you'll notice that it's got merge tags associated with each of the headers on this response sheet. So I have name, homeroom teacher, session one, session two, and I have tags for the same thing here, name, teacher, first session, second session. So this is all we need to get set up and ready to go. So what I need to do next is I need to go back to my response sheet and we're going to go to the add-ons menu and we're going to run an add-on called Autocrat. Now if you don't have Autocrat, all you have to do to get it is go to the get add-ons menu and search for Autocrat. And here it is here. And of course, if you don't have it, you click on the free button and add it to your account. But once it's added, we just go to the add-ons menu and click launch for Autocrat. So it takes a second to launch. It'll load over here on the side. And when it does, it's going to walk us through a couple of steps to create a new merge job. So to start, I'll click new merge job. So I'll speed this up so we can see it. So the first thing that it wants us to do is to choose my document where my merge tags are. So my document is in Google Drive, so I'm going to click Drive. And my document is called Student Schedule. So rather than search through all these, I'm just going to type Student Schedule and hit Search. Here's my document. I select it, click Select, and it loads the template into Autocrat so it can find the merge tags and hopefully align those with the header columns on my sheet. Now it wants a name for the merge job. I'll call it Career Day Schedule. It's loading and now you can see that it has matched up the merge tag name with the header on the sheet for the student's name. Now the rest of these it just shows that they've been merged with timestamp. So I need to tell Autocrat which sheet header to merge with the tag teacher. So I go out here and I choose homeroom teacher, which is what I wanted. Then I'll choose session one for first session and session two for second session. Once I have my merge tags lined up, I click save and it asks me to create a file naming convention. Now, if you look at the top here, it has created tag values to be used as placeholders anywhere in this document below. Meaning that if I want to call the schedule by the student's name and then career day schedule, all I have to do is go up to the top and look for the name placeholder and type it in exactly as it's shown, the dollar sign and then name in all lowercase letters. Then I can say career day schedule. And you can do that with any combination of these placeholder tags that you want. And set up your file naming convention and then it says select the file type you want to create. Now since Google Drive does not take file space away from you if you use Google Docs, in other words, 
your drive storage is not affected by Google Docs, I typically leave these as Google Docs. But if you want them to be created as PDFs, you do have that option. And basically what's going on is it is going to take the information in our sheet and for each row in our sheet, it's going to merge that information with this document and create a new document with the student's name and information in it. Next, I can choose to have this emailed. Now, if I had had the form collect email addresses for my respondents, then I could check this box and have it automatically email that document to the student directly. But I didn't do that. So what I want to do is I'm going to have it email it to my address. So I'll put in my address and in the subject line I'm going to put the tag for the student's name and career day schedule and a small message if I want. So there's my short message and again <clears throat> If I had wanted this to be emailed to the student, all I would have to do is put the tag for that email address header from my sheet in the to line, but I don't. So for now, it's just going to come to me as they're created. Now, even though I had it create the merged document as a Google Doc, I can choose to have the email document sent as a PDF attachment. Um, or any of these other options, but I'm going to do a view only Google Doc, meaning that the student can only view and print it, but they cannot edit that document. Then I go to the advanced settings and I'm going to choose a place to store these merged documents. Now I have not done so already, so since I have not yet created a folder, I'm going to go back to my Google Drive account and this is where I want them to appear in this career day folder so inside this folder I'm going to click new folder and I'm going to call this merged documents dash career day so I can find them later there's my new folder so if I go back to my sheet and click add folder then I should see that as an option here it is merged documents career day I select it click select and it takes a little while but it will finally add that there it is and then the last step is the option of running autocrat when new forms are submitted this means that as new people fill out the career day form it will automatically run autocrat and create the merge document and send it out so I'm going to do that and then click save so once you have set up Autocrat, it takes you back to this menu and you can click Run Merge and it will create a merge for each of the rows that were filled in on the form and create the documents. Now you'll notice that it has added new columns to your sheet and for each entry in your sheet it's creating a link to the document that has been created. You can either access those documents directly from here by clicking on the links or by your email where you receive them if you set it up that way or you can go back to your merge document folder and see the merge documents directly in Google Drive. Let's go ahead and view one of those so you can see what it looks like. I'll double click on the schedule and you can see here it has merged, it has added the name of the student, their homeroom teacher and the sessions they will be attending that day. Well that's a quick rundown on Autocrat. If you have questions please let me know and again thanks for joining me.